Welcome, if I may say this, to your heartthrob edition. Um, <laughs> it really is the heartthrob edition of the hour. I, I recognize that I am your boyfriend, uh, and tonight I may have compromised our relationship by bringing in two men tonight that you may get to use as your freebies. <laughs> Because no doubt both these men are on your list. Soon to be inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame, Steve Eiserman is on the show. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> He's love number 19. Here's the thing, I, I mean, it's, even if you're not a hockey fan, think about it in this context. There are 128 days till the Winter Olympics in Vancouver, 128, which means, if I do my math correctly, there are 128 chocolates left in my Olympic advent calendar. <laughs> And I just can't wait for midnight to come. And there's big expectations for Canada this year. Everybody talks about owning the podium. And sure, we want all the athletes to do well. But this Olympics, for better or for worse, lives and dies by the hockey team, the men's hockey team. If Canada plays for the gold medal game, if they play for gold, it's estimated that around 20 to 25 million people will watch that game. Think of that. Upwards of 25 million people in a country of only 35. That's incredible. The only thing more incredible than that is the pressure on the guy who has to build that team because you all think you have a good team in your mind. This country has not risen up together like this since we put down the Fenian raids of the 1800s. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> We've got the guy today who has to pick Canada's team. He's the Jean Beliveau of his era. He's classy, he's humble, he's respected by everyone. They call him the captain in some circles. Steve Eiserman, here's his bio. Okay, George, you know this, but I didn't, so shoot me. Around the NHL, Detroit is known as Hockey Town, and Steve Eiserman is the reason why. Eiserman picks it up at the side of the goal, and centering pass, he scores! Steve Eiserman! 22 seasons, all with the Red Wings, 692 goals, 1,755 points, good for sixth all-time. Stevie Y was the heart of the franchise. When he got to Detroit, he was only 18, and the team was so bad, they were nicknamed the Dead Things. At 21, Steve was named captain, and through the mid-80s and early 90s, Detroit became a top club. Scores! And Steve, an offensive machine. Solani gave the puck away. Kozlov shoots, he scores! Steve Eiserman gets the hat trick. But one thing was still missing, a championship. Finally, in 97, 14 years into his career, Steve led the Wings to the Stanley Cup their first in 42 years. The next season, another cup. And then in 2002, a third cup, plus a gold medal at the Olympics. But that year was especially painful. Steve played on a bad knee. So bad, he underwent surgery in the off season to get his knee totally realigned. He wasn't supposed to play again, but he did before calling it quits in 2006. I know there's a lot of referees in the National Hockey League doing cartwheels today. Now, Steve is out to win another Olympic gold in 2010, this time as executive director of our men's hockey team. Ladies and gentlemen, Stevie Y. You have to juggle lots of things. You have a, a hockey franchise that's had a really, a really great run, and then you have a country with huge expectations for a hockey team. Uh, how, how, are you, how are you balancing the two right now? How's that coming together? Well, first of all, Kenny and Jimmy Nell and Ryan Martin and Mike Babcock in Detroit have things pretty much under control. Mm -hmm. uh, I really enjoy being around, and I learn a lot from being with them. Um, but that being with them and being in the organization frees me up to get out and do some things with Hockey Canada and with the Olympic team this year. You know, aside from, you know, we all, as sports fans, we'll look at the, the newspaper, we'll watch the game, we see the stats, and we can see who makes a play here, who blows a play there. That's our assessment. Are you looking for something different? Like when you're watching these cats play, what is it that you're looking for to, to determine? Because it's a league with enormous talent. So to pick the, the handful of cats that are going to be on this team, what mm -hmm. are you looking for? Well, more than just more than just goals and assists, more than just the I guess the obvious of looking at a stat sheet after a game and trying to pick your team from that. I think the best players aren't necessarily uh, the leading scorers in all cases. In some cases, they are. But you know, I'll just use Sidney Crosby as an example. 
uh, he's a you know he's so good because he does all the little things well. He's an all-around. He's a complete player. And, and for Pittsburgh to win the Stanley Cup last year, uh, uh, Sidney and Evgeny Malkin both took a big step forward and were very good in both ends of the rink. And and for that matter, in Detroit the year before that was Zetterberg and Datsuk. Two of our top forwards are very good at all the other parts of the game. So we're watching our players. We just feel we're you know we're playing against the other country's elite players that. Our guys on the ice, we can't have players out there that aren't competent in doing other things other than just score. Do you feel actual pressure? Like, you know, players will say when they get on the ice, some players zone the crap.